All right, in this last video in this quick series, I'm gonna show you how you can animate the layer styles and how to export these videos as GIF files. So I'm just gonna do this as a really simple example here. I'm gonna do it on the last checkbox. So I'm gonna create one more keyframe and I'm gonna turn off my keys text so we can just see the text box here. And on this shape two, which is that checkbox, I'm going to add a layer style. So I'll come down to my layer styles, the FX menu, whoops, down here inside of Photoshop. And I'll just simply add a drop shadow here. Now, a handy feature of this is that anything that is numeric inside of any of any single one of these individual layer styles can be animated inside of Photoshop. So I can animate the angle, I can animate each one of these properties and tween those individually. So you can see here the drop shot that I have set up here. I'm gonna make this kind of stark so you can really see this. I'm gonna set my angle to 128. Now I'm just gonna animate a single property here. I'm gonna animate the angle value, but you can animate again any single one of these properties on any single one of these layers. So I'm gonna set this to 128 and hit okay. So I've added that drop shadow there and now I'm going to create a new keyframe. So I duplicated that previous keyframe. So I have two layers, but the drop shadow is the exact same. So I need to change the second one to modify the drop shadow. Now I'm gonna come back into my layer style. So I'm gonna double click the drop shadow here in my layers panel. And I'm gonna switch the angle simply to the opposite. So I'm gonna rotate all the way down to the bottom right. So the angle now is at the top left instead of the bottom right, or the shadow rather, and I'll go ahead and hit okay. And then I'm gonna select those two keyframes and I'm going to go over to the tween button, select the tween button, and make sure that you have the effects checked because this is the effect that we're talking about here. And I'm gonna add 10 frames here so it does it a little bit slower. And go ahead and hit okay. And now you can see this animation take place here at the last. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And notice that that animation actually rotates the uh, rotation of the shadow. So as soon as this plays through, you'll see it. And you can see that that was animated with the tween. So you can actually do quite a few powerful effects with this FX menu, because FX menu rather, the later styles. Anything inside of here is able to be animated inside of your GIFs. Now I've got quite a large GIF file. Mine's 55 frames. And typically animated GIFs, you don't want to make that long. Uh, the way that this file format works is every single frame of your animation is basically a brand new image. So this, this GIF would have to store 55 images inside of it. So the file size goes up quite a bit as your frames get longer and longer and longer. So just be aware of that. While we're experimenting here and playing around, I wouldn't worry that too much about that. But if you're going to publish these on the website, you definitely need to pay attention to that file size. Okay, lastly, let's show you how to export them. Now inside of Photoshop, we're going to go to the file menu and we're going to go to export and down here, this save for web legacy option. If you're in previous versions of Photoshop, this is just right here in the main menu, it's called Save for Web. So we'll select this option and this will pull up the Save for Web dialog. And you just need to make sure that you have GIF set here in the file type, and that's pretty much it. I would leave everything else at their defaults. Colors, you probably want to be up to 256, which is the maximum for a GIF file because it's an 8-bit image. And you can preview your animation down here. And this also will tell you the size. You can see right here, my GIF file format currently is 56K, this little simple animation I have, and that's really not bad at all. Sometimes you'll see these go up clear up to three and 400, so just pay attention to that. Down here, you can preview the animation, so I can click play here to watch the animation to make sure everything's happening the way I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. So all you do here is select save. This will pop up your dialog box, and you can just give this a name. I'm just gonna call this test.gif and I'll save this over to my desktop and hit save. I'll minimize Photoshop here so we can see the desktop. So you can see here's my test.gif file on my desktop. And in order to see these, I can right click and I can say open in any web browser will work. So Chrome or Firefox or Safari. So I'm just gonna open this up in uh, my browser here and sure enough, it just plays automatically by default. There's no special plugins. And that's how you export and save out an animated GIF.